2020 MacBook Pro with the Intel graphics card thing. I'm gonna go to Julia K. Chris website and go download and it's just gonna be to my channel if you're new here my name is Chloe and as you can tell by the title today I'll be doing a customization of my MacBook if you didn't know I got my MacBook about three days ago and I just thought that I would customize it I did an unboxing video if you want to check that out after this video it'll be linked down in the description if you watch that video I'll give you a little background on what MacBook I got I got the 2020 MacBook Pro with the Intel graphics card thing I got eight gigabytes of RAM 512 gigabytes of SSD wall storage it has two Thunderbolt ports I think I got the 1.4 gigahertz just the base one in space gray as well with the touch bar i'm very very pleased with my purchase i'm just going to start with the video so first of all i'm going to start off with changing my background so i'm going to go into google chrome i'm going to go into canva i've actually already made a background but i'll show you guys how to make one if you don't know already so this is the app that i use for collages and stuff you go up to create a design and then you want to do a custom size for well, 13 inch screen is 2560 by 1600 and then you just press create new design and then what you do is you go into you can either go into pinterest or just google images i'm going to go into google images and then i'm just going to type in beige aesthetic and basically i'm just going to make this window a bit smaller so that i can just drag any photos that i want onto my desktop i've already downloaded all the photos that i want so i was just showing that as an example now i'm going to go back into canva and then you want to go into uploads and then upload media from device and then i'm going to go desktop and then the download that i downloaded and then you can either drag photos in um like that or you can double click and put them in but that is basically how you do it and you can just arrange it how you like once you have it how you like you're going to go up to here and type in a name you're going to go download and then download and then it's just going to prepare it and then it'll download here and then it should be in your downloads for you to change the background so i'm going to find the background that i created the other day this is the one so i'm going to download this this laptop is so much faster than my other one my other one was an acer travel mate something so now that i have downloaded that I'm going to go up into the Apple, I'm going to press System Preferences, then I'm going to go to Desktop and Screensaver, currently it's on the Catalina Night. So to add a folder, you go down to the plus and minus, and then I want to go to Downloads, Beige Aesthetic Wallpaper, and then choose. Previous to this video, I created these two folders with different icons. So now that I've done the background, I'm actually going to sort out my dock here down the bottom because I'm not really a huge fan of some of the stuff that's on here. So first of all, I'm going to go to System Preferences, and then I'm going to go to Dock. And then where it says Magnification and Size, I'm going to turn on Magnification. I think I like the size of that. You can either make it really huge, or you can make it like non-existent. I think I like it just a little bit. I think that's good. With the Minimize Windows, I'm going to do Genie Effect, because I just think it's better than the Scale Effect. And then for the size of the dock, I think I like it how it is. Now I'm going to get rid of any of the stuff that I don't want on here. And then I think the rest I'm going to keep on there. So I'm going to keep Launchpad, OneNote, PowerPoint, Excel, Word, Chrome, Calendar, Reminders, Notes, App Store, iMovie, and Stickies. I love Stickies. I already created one because I had to do a to-do list. You can actually change like the fonts. There's a bunch of fonts. And you can change the color. I prefer gray because it just matches my aesthetic. Now that I've done that, I'm going to create another folder to show you guys how to do these little things. So basically I'm going to go into Google Chrome. I'm going to go Go to Julia K. Chris website. If you haven't heard of her, she makes amazing digital graphics. This is her website, juliakchris.com. And this is the one that I've used. So just click on it. You right click, save image. I'm just going to save it to desktop and I'm going to name it Black Plant 
icon and then save. And then basically what we want to do is I'm going to make a new folder. I'll just call it test. And then I'm going to open the black plan icon. My cursor is already like this cross. So you want to just select where the photo is. You want to do command C. And then now you want to close that and go to the folder that you want to change. And then you right click, press get info. Up here where this little thing is, you click on it and then you press command V. And then it works like that. I think it's really cute. It matches my aesthetic. Okay, so now I'm going to change my accent colors. So I'm going to go to the apple up the top again. I'm going to go to system preferences. I'm going to go to general and then it is here. So I've chosen light mode because I just prefer light mode right now. I changed it the other day, but then I changed it back. So for the accent color, I'm going to do gray because I just feel like grays and beiges just match the best with my background and the aesthetic that I'm going for. And then the highlight color, I'm going to do graphite, which has already been selected because of the accent color. And then for the default web browser, I'm going to change to Google Chrome. I downloaded Google Chrome as soon as I got the laptop because I don't really like Safari that much. Earlier, I changed the date up here to show date and the day of the week, which I think is really nice. So now I'm going to go into Launchpad and I'm going to organize all of these apps. I'm probably just going to fast forward it because it's going to get a bit boring. <laughs> up with some ways to organize it. I've done a weird untitled folder, I'll fix that later. A productivity, which just has a bunch of productive apps in it. Social, photo and video. Microsoft apps, Apple Docs and Random Apple. I'll do an in-depth of like what apps I have once I've sorted it out fully. And so I'll probably do like a what's on my MacBook. Now I'm going to go into Finder. I'm gonna go into applications and delete any applications that I don't need. <laughs> them all into folders. I feel it's really nice. So now I'm going to customize my touch bar. I can't really screen record for this so I'm just going to bring in the camera close. Hey guys, so I'm currently editing this video and I have no idea where the touch bar footage went. So when I upload my what is on my MacBook, I'll definitely show you guys what is on my touch bar. It doesn't have anything special, it just has what your FN buttons would do. I just put my brightness on it, keyboard brightness, volume, screenshot, Siri. That is basically that all that I use it for. But I'll definitely go in depth on what is on my MacBook, so stay tuned for that and subscribe so that you don't miss it. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments down below what videos you want to see from me. If you haven't already, you should definitely subscribe down in the corner or under the video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful night, evening and morning, whatever time you're watching this. Stay safe and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.